What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to focus on working with video with different types of resolution in the same sequence inside of the timeline. So let's get started. So let's head down to the timeline panel, which you notice there is no sequence started. So now we need to start a sequence. And we have, we have two different clips. One is a 4K clip, which you can see there, 3840 by 2160 with 60 frames a second. And then I also have a 1080p, which is 9, 1920 by 1080 and at 24 frames a second. So clearly those are two different types of videos, but we're gonna work with them in the same sequence. So when starting a sequence, whichever video you put in first, it'll change the sequence settings to match the video. So depending on the resolution of the video you're wanting to put out, if you have a client that's asking for a 4K video and most of your clips are 4K, but you have one random 1080p, clearly make the sequence a 4K video, start off with all the 4K footage, and then you can upscale the 1080p clip to match. But if you're doing a video for like YouTube, for example, and it's gonna be a 1080p, you know, it's just a regular high def video, and you have a couple 4K clips started at 1080p because when you're when you're matching, it's easier to scale down. If you have a beautiful 4K shot and you scale it down to 1080p, it's gonna be extra sharp and crisp because you're, you're scaling it down. But when you have a 1080p and you're trying to blow it up and you're trying to fill those little resolutions in, it doesn't look as sharp. But I think it's just, it looks better to take a higher quality clip and scale it down than take a clip and try to scale it up to a better quality. So let's get started. Let's just say we're gonna start a 4K sequence inside the timeline. So let's grab this clip here, it's 4K. Drop it over, you see a little plus sign. As soon as you let it go, and it's established a sequence with this 4K clip. So all the settings inside of this sequence are the exact same as this clip right here. The same dimensions, the same frame rate, everything. So now when we go to bring over our 1080p clip, we'll tack it onto the end. you notice it's there, but you notice how it's much smaller? Now obviously that's not gonna work, so we have to expand it to make it match the 4K settings. So if you want, we can single click on the item and head up to edit controls. And you're gonna see a thing here that says scale, right here to the upper left. And we'll go over and see that's 100% of the 1080. So we're gonna grab this and just slide it to the right till we fit exactly in that 4K frame. There we go. And you'll notice in the scale size, it says 200% because a 1080 clip is exactly half of 4K as far as the resolution. So we've scaled that up to 200 to match. One thing you can do in your settings to change it so you don't have to keep changing it for every single clip to match, head up here to Premiere Pro on top, bring down the menu, come down to Preferences, head over to General, and when you click General, you're gonna prompt you to this preference screen. And head halfway down to Media here on the left, and you'll notice there's a thing that's gonna say Default Media Scaling. So this is saying there's no scaling on currently, and that's why when we put that firework shot in there, it just showed it at its true size, which is substantially smaller. But you can click this and go down here to set to frame size. And if you keep that on and just put okay, now you've changed that going forward. So anytime you add different clips, it's gonna automatically do that adjustment for you. So I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna do that again. Grab the firework thing, come over here, drop it right in the middle, let it go, and you'll notice it automatically scaled. So now if we click on this and head up, you can see it automatically made it the 200%, so we don't have to go in and manually do it. So if I have three or four more clips, I can just add them and it's automatically gonna fit to that, it's gonna fit to the screen. So I'm gonna delete this, and then I'm gonna come back to this sequence, I'm gonna delete it, and I'm just gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna grab the 1080p to start a sequence, let it go, so now all these settings in the sequence match the 1080p clip. But because we already changed the master settings so it fits to so it fits to the screen, now we'll grab this 4K clip and we'll bring it over on the 1080p timeline. Let it go. And you notice it already fits to frame. Now if we didn't change the settings, the same way the 1080p footage showed it smaller because it was smaller, if we didn't change that setting, this would be much bigger and then we have to scale it back. But if we click on this, and we head over to the control panel, and you go to scale, you can see it already put it at 50%, so it already scaled it down for us. So going forward, you can put in anything and it'll adjust up or down to match the settings you have in the sequence from adding that first clip. 
So in this little video, we've covered how to adjust different frame rates and resolutions to match the sequence settings and how to change the entire program setting up here, preferences general. And then as long as this is set to frame size, every time any scaling happens, it'll just set it to the frame size going forward. And that way it'll kind of adjust it for you. I hope this video helps and hope you learned something. If you did, please click the thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're wanting to learn more on how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, subscribe to the channel. I'm constantly putting up new tutorials. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Later.